Yo, what's up, guys? It's Pippi's Reviews here today with another NHL season preview episode. And today we're going to be focusing on the Ottawa Senators. Ottawa Senators have not had a busy offseason at all. Um, they've only got three people. They got Zenit Kanopka, fourth line grinder, Alex Old, backup goaltender, and Nikita Fieldtop. I think they traded um, a fourth round, third or fourth round pick for them. And. I've seen some good things. I've seen some bad things. Um, I don't really know the full detail on that trade, why Columbus got rid of him. But, yeah. Um, the only person that left was Ryan Shannon. I mean, fourth line. Uh, not even fourth line. Like an AHL player. Um, let's get to the lines. First line, I got Milan McCulloch, left wing. Jason Spezza for center. And right wing is Daniel Alfredson. Uh, second line, I got Mika Zabinjad. He was the uh, sixth overall pick this year by them. I got Nikita Fieldtop on left and Bobby Butler on right. Third line, Peter Regan, um, center, left wing, Nick Felino, right wing, Colin Greening. Another prospect that's really good. Um, fourth line, you got Jesse Winchester, center, right wing, Chris Neal, and left wing, Zenin Kanopka. And for defense, I got Sergey Gonchar and um, Chris Phillips. Second line, I got David Rumbland and Eric Carlson. I mean, if they keep this pairing for the future, it's going to be deadly. It kind of reminds me, like, of the carlson Osner on Capitals. I mean, two young people together, but they're probably going to be really good. I mean, David Rumbland, 50 points in the Swedish Elite League, and he's a defenseman. I mean, this kid's going to be amazing in the future. And Eric Carlson had, like, 45 points this year. He's pretty offensive, too. Don't forget about him. He's going to be a stud in the future. Let's see. Philip Kubo and Brian Lee for third um, defensing pair. Let's get started on the prospects. For prospects, I got Stefan Gusta. He was, like, a college player. I think he's from France. Um, Mika Zbignajed. Uh, he the, was their sixth overall pick this year. He played in the Swedish Elite League. Probably going to be ahead of a lot of their prospects. He's been playing with adults for one or two years now. I mean, he's going to have been playing with some ex-NHLers. He's going to be good. Watch out for him in the future. I got Jared Cowan. That's um, uh, their ninth or eighth overall pick in 2009. And I think he's going to be pretty good. Um, he's played in the WHL and Jacob Silverberg, another prospect. And let's see, the people need to step it up. The people need to step it the most is the whole first line. I mean, if they want to crack the playoffs or get in the playoffs, they need to, I mean, Jason Spezza, Daniel Alfredson, and Middle and McKellick need to all step it up. I mean, Jason Spezza, he should be having, like, 90-point seasons. And, I mean, he only had, like, I don't know how many points he had last year. I think it was only 70. But, let's see, um... Also, Nikita Filatov needs to step it up. I mean, he was an eighth overall pick. Come on, buddy. You can do better than this. Should be putting up like should be in the NHL by now, putting up like forty points a season. And we got um Sergey Gonchar. I mean, he's like fifty point scorer per season. He dropped down on like twenty this season. I think he was also injured. But forget that. But yeah, overall I think Ottawa probably gonna come in last place this season. Um for the Eastern Conference, and they're gonna get another good draft pick. But yeah, watch out for them in the future, next few years. You know they're going through their rebuilding session right now. I, I think they're gonna end up. I think Alverson might retire after this year, or get traded to a better Cup contending team because I don't think he's had one all of his career. And Jason Spitz, I think they're gonna get rid of him. I mean, it's just part of the rebuilding process. And let's next episode we're gonna be um I'm gonna be doing the Winnipeg Jets. I think they're probably gonna be an exciting team to watch this year. They got a young a lot of young players. So stay tuned for tomorrow's episode on the Winnipeg Jets and take it easy boys.